Okay, I want to talk about if you have a child who's having trouble with their fingers, reaching in here and touching uh, the locations. Uh, the first thing you'd want to do is be able to hide everything but one key or two. And how you do that is you hit this blue button here, and you go to the one that says Setup, and then you say Hide Show, and then you say Hide All, and you'll see everything go gray. And now you touch the one cell that you want to make work, and then you touch up here, anywhere up on here on the top, to make it come out. Now you have the ability to isolate that uh, location. Now notice I have a key guard on this device. Uh, uh, that key guard is really, really important. It creates a visual perceptual uh, help, and it also uh, allows your finger to then go in the hole. Something you might do that if you're really have, having trouble is take duct tape. You know, I just have a copy of one here where I put duct tape across the whole grid and then took an X-Acto knife and cut out a few holes. And this lets them take their finger and then touch inside the hole like that. So that's, a, that's a really an extreme uh, measurement. Now to bring all the keys back, I just go to my setup key, and I go to my hide show, and I say show all, and I touch here to get out. Now I want to show you another little strategy that saved me a lot of times, and that is to make one key change its color so it sticks out a little brighter. And red is always a color worth trying, because a lot of these children have cortical visual impairments that are not diagnosed, and red's been shown to be a color that they can see easier. So if I want to make my go red, I can touch this, hit my setup key, touch the key that, that I want to change the color, and I go down here at the bottom where it says change a key color and make it stick out a nice color red. Then of course go through my steps again, hitting my setup key, hide show, hide all, make this key come back. Now I have one that has a black background with a nice red uh, color that draws in some children they can see it easier. Now I want to show you another strategy that I really love and I use uh, often. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here into my setup key and I'm going to bring everything back for a little bit. So I did show all and touch up here. Now I get everything back. I've changed this key to to a nice red that they can see. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave my key guard on but I'm going to expand that key so it fills in more areas. So how I do that is I touch this blue button up here where the gear is. I go to the toolbox. I, I know you can't see it very well, but on this first green one says assign core key. And I touch that spot, and then I touch, touch the key that I want to modify. And right down here at the bottom it says choose a custom key size. When I touch that then I can change this. I'm going to do three by three, which means it will be three cells by three cells. Now when I say OK and OK and OK one more time, now you can see I've made this key real large. Now to get rid of the other ones now, so make it large first with everything showing. You have to do it in the right order here. So what I did is I left everything showing. I had already changed the key's color, then I expanded it. Now I'm going to go back in here, use my setup key, do hide all, except for that location where it is. Remember, it has to be, you have to hit that location where it was and touch up here to get out. And now you've got this device that has one cell really large. And now any one of their fingers now gives them yeah. the, the reward. So yeah. anywhere in there, they can touch with any one of their fingers. Yeah. And it gives them the confidence that they can do this. Now you leave it this way for a few hits and then go back into your toolbox, hit your assigned core keys, touch the one right where the word go is. Now I can go to my custom key size. Now I can bring it down to two by two and then try it again. Now they've, they've focused them in again. And then usually they have success by now because now their confidence is up. Now you go back one more time. After they've been successful, go to your tools. Go back to your sign core key. Touch the one that says go. Choose a custom key size and make it one by one. So what you've done now is you've taken them all the way from this back to the the three by three to the two by two back to the one by one and you made it red and hopefully that gives them that confidence and that uh, understanding uh, how to get their finger in that hole and touch it and it really is important that you get them to these smaller buttons quickly because more buttons means less sequencing and more buttons means the farther away the motor plan is or the more unique the motor plan is and it means you can add new vocabulary and follow their lead. Once you go to those big buttons, a lot of this becomes very difficult. I hope this video helps you. Thank you.